So 16 needles later. And three piles of shit. And one counterfeit $100 bill, we almost done over here. Now, welcome back to the channel. It's Matt in the JoJo, and today we're going to talk about how to stay busy when it slows down. And leave a comment and let us know, does it slow down a lot where you live? Because where we live, it slows down a little bit, but we don't have the huge weather difference. So it doesn't slow down that much for us. Now for us, how we stay so busy, we got great reviews on Google My Business. We got a bunch of repeat loyal customers. We're actually at a job right now for a property manager that calls us up all the time. And I would say just this year, we made about $30,000 off this customer. Yes, he calls us often. He has multiple properties and he kind of has this problem with all of them. Now the issue that he has over here, there's a bunch of illegal dumping going on. The homeless hang out around here and just trash the place yeah they do and you know they use drugs and their syringes and just nasty stuff it's one of those where you want really good gloves and you want to be careful when you pick things up because you never know what you're gonna find here now let's check out the job so we at the first part of the job and it's all this trash over here and Jojo there's a couch over there and I wonder what the homeless been doing on that bad boy I don't even want to know about that so this is the part we're gonna start with. We're gonna load all this up in the truck. And when it comes to the carts, we're gonna just empty out the cart, but we're not gonna take the cart because this belongs to Safeway and that's gonna stay here. But this is what we're gonna start with. And then we have some other areas that we need to go to and clean those areas up as well. Now this is exactly why you want to be super, super careful whenever you're cleaning up after homeless people. Check this out. So check it out. There's a bunch of weed leaves and some syringes right there. Anytime you see a cap, you know there's syringes. Check that out. They are everywhere over here. And that's why you gotta be super careful. So what you want to do is we often get comments of, what do you do with the syringes? Um, you can get a jar with a lid. You can carefully place the syringes in the jar, put the lid on. You can take those to a medical waste places. Um, sometimes the dumps has a hazardous waste area and they uh, ask them first, but they will often accept them. And you can also go into like a hospital facility and ask if they have a medical waste drop off um and you can ask your fire stations so just find out where you can take those because you can't just dump them at the dump so the find of the day jojo what'd you find uh, oh oh what <laughs> poop on cardboard but it's you know what really really when you think about it, it's super sad because if you're over here shooting up heroin then you're obviously going to have to take it but yeah now here's a reality check next time you go to Safeway and you grab a shopping cart you never know what the hell it was used for oh my goodness ain't that right Jojo yes nowadays I don't know if, if you're not in California maybe you don't have this with in California when you walk into a grocery store now there's like wipes that you can use to wipe down your um, shopping cart and in this case it wouldn't be for the coronavirus I would pressure wash this bad boy <laughs> but you know what they're probably just gonna push it back over there and reuse it that's horrible so next time you grab a shopping cart think about it think about where it's been never know where that shopping cart has been for real so we got another find of the day and check this out we found a hundred dollar bill 
And this is probably the worst counterfeit $100 bill I've ever seen in my life, JoJo. Oh my goodness. They was smoked. That is not gonna pass. Oh, hell no. JoJo, I got your tip of the day. Here you go. I want a sandwich at Subway. Can you go in there and get it for me and get my change, please? <laughs> so 16 needles later. And three piles of shit. And one counterfeit $100 bill. We almost done over here. And we still got two more piles to go to and check out. And hopefully we find some more money. And the JoJo found a check from Abraham. $900. We should go deposit that, JoJo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So there's a pile of shit right there and right there. And I hit it with the broom. Now I got to throw this broom away. All right, so that area is tackled and clean. And now it's time to tackle this area, which doesn't seem as bad as the other area. So check it out. It's all these pallets right here. I don't see no shit, no syringes. So we're good. And all these cardboard boxes right here need to go. And then we have a few more pallets behind that truck right there that needs to go too. You ready or what? Yeah. Let's, let's do, do it. it. promise you we're going to talk about how to stay busy when it slows down but for some reason today is a shitty day look at that jojo they boo-booed all over the damn wall <laughs> what the hell i don't know uh, you know we we come here often and clean up but today is like a really shitty situation <laughs> it's poopy tuesday <laughs> <laughs> so this is the very last piece Now, just like that, we done. And damn, Jojo, I think I stepped in dog shit, did I? Human shit. No, I'm good, I need some new shoes really bad though. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're chancy, you use them until you can't use them no more, so. And it's also hard to find my size shoes, Jojo. It is, you can't just walk into a regular shoe store and get your size shoe. So you have to order them online. I know, I can't believe it's size 15. I can't believe I have that much money in the bank and my shoes and my belt look horrible like a broke <laughs> ass. But anyways, we're heading to the dumps right now. You ready or what? Yes, I'm glad that job is over. All right, let's head out. So Matt, what is your prediction of the dump fee? I'm gonna say $99 in JoJo. What was in that white bag? I thought it was some sugar for my coffee. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I feel weird right now. I'm just kidding, $98. What about you? Oh, 55. 55? Yeah. That's it? That's it. All right, let's find out. So look who won. It was 1,100 pounds. The JoJo Lena did. It was $75. Now let's talk a little bit of trash with Matt and the JoJo. And if you're slow right now, something you can add to your service. If you're in an area that snows, is snow plowing. There's a bunch of guys out there that kill it. And also you can do gutter cleaning, pressure washing. There's so many other hustles besides trash removal, JoJo. Yeah, and you could make winter time be the time that you resell lots of your finds that you found throughout the year. Another thing is Realtors, you know, when they're selling houses, they will often do something called staging. And I know that's very popular where we are. Maybe they do that where you are too. What they're doing is they are making a house look super presentable and very well lived in. And so what they'll do is they have 
lots of furniture that they keep and then they'll take it to a house and set it up and make the place look as great as they can so they can you know sell the house for top dollar so they stage lots of places so realtors could often use people to take things from one house to another or from their storage unit where they keep their stuff to the house that they're staging so often you can get extra jobs doing stuff like that so you got to think outside the box and something else you can do too is if you have your wife or your girlfriend go to the store don't hop in the honda or the mercedes that's not wrapped hop in your work vehicle that has the decals on there so when they walk in the store and they're in macy's for an hour or the grocery store for an hour you're advertising while your vehicle is sitting in the parking lot and you'll be surprised how much business you'll get that way so something else you could do to thank the people that have used you consistently all year long is do a nice gift basket for them and I'm gonna do a members only video where I show you how I put those baskets together they don't cost much money and they're very very appreciated by the customers that have used you over and over again this year and don't forget to drop stuff off to the people at the landfill because in the long run that will save you money Ain't that right, Jojo? Yeah, that will save you money. They appreciate it so much. It can be some cookies. It can be some Gatorades. It can be a gift card. It can be anything. And also, we got a video right there. I do believe it's right there or maybe over there. The Jojo's on put it right there. I do believe how to stay busy when it slows down in the wintertime. We made that video, what, 11 months ago, a year ago? I think we made it last year. And we'll put the link to it right above so that you can watch that. Because although it's probably going to repeat some of these, it might have some new ones that you haven't heard of and it's always good to just hear it again make sure you're doing all of these things to try to stay busy in the winter time so leave a comment down below and help other haulers out what do you do to keep yourself busy in the winter time so we're at the next location and there is not much stuff here but we'll take care of it and if you want to get jobs like this also if you see that there's a problem with like just littering and homelessness and lots of garbage behind stores walk into the store ask to talk to the manager and ask the manager hey who is in charge of making sure that you, the back of your store is clean and it usually isn't the manager but there's usually a property manager that is in charge of that so find out who is contact them and see if you can get regular jobs like this at the next job of the day is for a contractor that uses us all the time and some you can do whenever you work for someone is ask them can I leave a bandit sign in your front yard and then maybe leave it out there for like a month or two and then go back over there and swoop it up and you can also ask family and friends if they live on a busy street you can ask them can I put a sign in your yard and that's a good way to get business that is, that's a really good way to get business, especially if they live in a area that's really busy. I, it's funny that you said that because I was just noticing when we were on the freeway that there was like some empty land lots and there were people that were advertising like uh, a realtor was advertising and another person, you know, was advertising for something else. And it is a very good idea because it's going to be seen by so many people. And a good place to get bandit signs is UZ Marketing. Check them out. We actually got some free signs from them uh -huh. and they're really, really good quality signs. So check them out. We gave them a plug right there and yeah, it's a good way to get business when it slows down. So Jojo, I think we got an easy day. The pile look kind of small. Yeah, it's not a big pile. You guys want to see it? Should we show it to them? Yes. Let's show them. So here's the pile. Look at that, Jojo. What is this going to take five minutes? Easy money, that's all I got to say. Now, 
Now, just like that, job is complete. And something you want to do when you're out and about and you see a pile of trash in front of someone's house, don't be scared and drive by the pile. What you want to do is pull over, go knock on the door. If they don't answer, leave a door hanger of your business or what you do, maybe a flyer or a business card because closed mouths don't get fed. Get out there and get your bread. <laughs> yeah, it's that's really good advice. Sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone, but every everything in life is an opportunity to network and meet new people and just you will get so much more business when you just like put yourself out there um the job that we just did had a heating and air conditioning um person that was there and we had done jobs for him in the past so it's all about networking the more you network the more jobs you'll get and those people will tell other people and you just you have to get out there so your main job when you wake up every morning is advertise 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 consistent every single day that's instagram that's facebook just get out there and be in front of as many people as possible and that should be your main job every day is getting in front of new people yeah and that is what matt does every single morning when we wake up we wake up early and we're having coffee and we're sitting on the couch and before we start our jobs before we leave for the day he has posted on instagram he's posted on facebook and he just updates things all the time and if that's not your morning routine that should be your morning routine and if you do that all year long they come winter time, maybe your phone will keep on ringing a little more consistently. So the Joe Joe's talking <laughs> crap to me, and we're in the church parking lot, Joe Joe. That's not godly. What the heck? What? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> That's how I roll. I'm different than it other is, people. It is. Our loyal subscribers know that you're dyslexic. <laughs> Whatever. So they just know. And that's okay. <laughs> Lord, forgive me for the way I do things. Look, I'm going the right way now. What are you talking about? Huh. <laughs> now, just like that, we done for the day, JoJo. We worked two hours and we made some killer money, huh? Yeah, and sometimes I just love it when we're home early. And the best part about wintertime for me is I get to go fishing more, relax more. And whenever I'm out fishing and my phone rings, I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Not today, Satan. I ain't answering that phone call. I like to relax and enjoy my life. It's not all about getting that money all the time, JoJo. No. And when you are established, you can get away with not always answering your phone. But when you first start out, you got to answer every single phone call. But later on down the line, when you're established like us, you ain't got to answer every single phone call. You can let that phone ring and go to voicemail and call people back whenever you want. And relax a little bit in the winter time. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button and we'll catch you on the next one.